look at a Eucanic today here in Eucanic. We have a 2020 Honda Civic. On this Honda Civic, we're going to go over the process of replacing your um, your pump here, which feeds your washer fluid to be able to clean your windows. So to start with, this vehicle is raised up and supported on jack stands. It just gives you a little bit extra space. It is under. There's a few bolts and screws you may need. You'll need to remove under the bottom. And also so you can move the tires to turn them right and left to be able to get some bolts out of the, um, the wheel well or the screws there to hold it in. So to start with, um, we've got it raised up. We've got the hood open to gain access to some uh, push clips that are up in the top to be able to remove those and to get ready. Then we can go down around the sides. So up here on the top, we're going to have a good amount of various um, push clips to remove. And so we've got one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that just gets this little component up of this plastic piece. And we can remove and set that to the side and set it behind us. And so we set that over there. And then once you've removed those, then you would have one that's right here, one that's in the center. It's um, right now I just have it in there. But we have one that's in the center here that you would remove with this uh, um, piece of the rubber molding. And then another one that's right here on this side. And that gets that component off. And you'll do this on both sides. You have one push pin up here that you need to remove. And then that gets that free. And then um, you don't need to remove the other push pins here unless you really want to. But we get this free and then you want to pull on this this piece of plastic here. I do that on both sides to be able to get this to um, come free. All right, so if right here, you pop this rubber up a little bit, there is a, an opening here where you can depress the little clip by pressing down on it. And what you're doing is you're pushing this clip down to be able to pull it out. Right? And now um, you can remove this and you remove the one on the other side because it's going to be, um, you could leave it attached if you would like to, but it comes that it's sticking out here and you have a bigger chance of breaking it off than uh, when you're removing the whole bumper itself. So we're going to do that same concept to the other side and take that piece off and then we'll be even closer. So again, we have this. Now this one is just, has been just sitting on here, but the same thing, you would just remove this tab a little bit and you'll see I uh, have a hole here to depress that little tab and it would be the same right down here. So like that you could remove this, but we just need to move the little rubber around. And now, be able to pull this plastic and set that aside. And now we have most of the top all free. I'm gonna leave that one push pin right here in the middle, or we leave something here just to hold the middle of the bumper up while we remove the side components and the under portion. So this is gonna work on both sides. Um, we have a screw here and another screw right here that um, this one would be a push pin or screw to attach to the end. The, the wheel well, this one is missing the wheel well. And so we have one screw up here and then where the bottom of the bumper comes into the bottom of the wheel well, there will be some uh, bolts and or push pins. Um, I can't give you complete on that because that portion was never here, so I don't know. So to remove that screw, it's just a fill up. And this is why it's good to have the uh, vehicle raised up a little bit. That way you can turn the steering wheel to gain better access to the screws that you may need to remove. Here. So we removed that one screw, and now this bumper, this side, will be able to come undone. So you do the same on the other side, and that way you'll be able to free the bumper from the vehicle. Now, under the bottom, and I've already done that, but there's going to be a various amounts of push pins and or um, uh, there's these bolts that go down there. And they're a 10 millimeter bolt with a little shoulder piece so that they don't over tighten on the, uh, the rubber there. And there will be um, some of these that are down there that are attaching to the uh, under frame, the splash shield, and the, um, the wheel well 
liner also. So you would remove those from the bottom side and now you'll be able to start removing the bumper. So once you, you've done that, to be able to get the bumper to come off, you need to grab over here and be able to pull on the bumper and that unclips it from the side and then there's a little bit of uh, some clips here that attach to the lights themselves and then it'll pull back. Now, if you had fog lights, uh, this one doesn't, but if you had the fog lights, you would also need to be unhooking the electric that goes to the fog light. And I left this one push pin in here, it still will. I'm gonna do the same on this side to open up this side, and then I'll remove that push pin and we'll be able to pull the whole bumper up. So we see that the bumper is uh, free. It's just holding on by this one little um, push clip. So we'll remove that. Um, say you know, we can see that we have fluid in here and you go to hit the button and it doesn't spray. There's either a couple things you would want to hear if this is making any noise or you check your fuses first and once you've done all that, then you could roll it maybe at your pump. So to start with, there is a hose on both sides that we will need to undo and then we can pull the pump out and also one electric connector to undo. This electric connector is just one that you place your screwdriver in a little bit, pull the tab back and pull that up. And then that unhooks that electric connector. You're also going to probably want to, you know, capture your, your washer fluid if you can. And so if you just pull back on this. It's got a grommet that holds it in. All right, so we drained out our washer fluid and we saved it. And now that is the pump essentially removed. This is the grommet that holds in there. Holds that in there. Now we want to undo the lines here. Just using a screwdriver here to break the uh, surface tension. We do the same thing on the other side. And now you do want to remember which one goes where because when you hit the button, one feeds the wiper on the trunk and one feeds the wipers up front. And so if you have it, if you reverse them, when you go to hit the buttons, they will not spray the windows you want it to hit. Eh. So that is the removal there of the, the whole pump. And so you would just get your new pump and go through the reverse process of putting it back in. If the new one comes with a new, this new rubber grommet, you'll put that in there. put the uh, grommet in there and we can press the pump back in make our electric connection feed our, our lines on the right side and that would be the uh, replacement of your uh, pump now you'll note that the front bumper has been removed to give you a lot better access to it. And you could be able to reach up under there, but from bumper has to be removed. Now, pump's been replaced with a new one. Now you just go ahead and add your coolant, add your washer fluid back in here and try it out and make sure it all works. Supporting our bumper up so it doesn't just fall on the ground. And now to be able to grab and 
pull and remove the bumper from our vehicle, and then we can set that down. We are ready to install our front bumper. And so to start with, we will need to bring our front bumper to the vehicle. And the bumper was, you know, it's you remember to have to do anything on the front here, especially if you need to replace your headlight assemblies, is one of the big reasons why your bumper would have been removed. So now we are going to put it back on um, for replacement. So you need to bring it up. It's set here, whether you use a screwdriver or uh, one of the push pins, just to hold the top in so that it doesn't fall down while you go around and maneuver the pieces where they need to be. There's a little shield piece down there that's to you know, direct the air through the uh, front mount intercooler. And so I had to move that a little bit on the front to be able to get that down. So you'll do this process on both sides and be able to get this up over this big clip here. And then I'm going to line this up under the light there. Okay, so we have that uh, down through the, the rim here, around the light, where it needs to go. And then um, we have this lined up in the little channel grooves here. And we just press and stamp it in place. Um, this light, you would need to put on. You're missing it. That's setting there. Uh, there's one uh, Phillips screw that holds this on over here. One Phillips screw that holds it on at the top. There'll be another uh, push pin or screw that goes into the fender well, or the fender, the inner liner, and that inner liner is not there. So. so we've done that on this side. You need to just repeat that same process on the other side. Bring our bumper off. Okay, straight go around the light and situate in there. And then be able to line this up on this side with the tab. There we go. And then you got the one fill up screw that you would need to put in on this side. We have a various amount of um, bolts and um, screws that would go on the bottom to hold that to the splash shield and to the vehicle on the bottom. So I will uh, do that and that's one good reason why you'd have your car kind of raised up a little bit and of course supported on jack stance. The other thing we want to get is we have still a little bit of piece of uh, plastic here and that uh, rubber molding to put on so we'll do that. Okay, so we've got this uh, plastic trim here. It's going to go on both sides. And we'll start from this side. We line it up just on top of the light, line it up, and then just press it to lock the clips. We'll have one push pin that's going to go right there to lock that piece on. And then this sits down here. And this, we can put this push pin in here. And then we'll move and do the other side. And then we can put this piece on, the plastic piece that goes here, and put that push pin in there. Okay, so we got that uh, aligned around the, uh, um, the light here. Just had a resituate this portion of the bottom bumper to sit in there better. And then we have the stop one pressed in. And it's pressed in and locked in there. And so next we have there'll be one push pin that'll go up up top there. And we have the one push pin put in right here. So that secures the top of the bumper portion right there. And to do our final we're going to put this piece on and put the push the 
put the remainder of the push pins in. So we've got one more that goes down through that little uh, rubber cover right through the bunk and holds it on. Right there. And then we have nine that attach through here to hold this on. And the bunk and it on. So we have all the, the push pins in. We have all the, this one we push in, and that one I gotta go find one. And two push pins on the outside wings of the, the headlights there, and then, uh, like I said, some uh, some bolts and push pins under the bumper dash attached to the vehicle to be able to keep that front of the bumper on. And that's how you would replace your front bumper on your 2020 Honda Civic. Thanks for watching, mechanic. Where you can be the mechanic.